Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan and I vlog about various things that happen in my life. I'm currently studying for the postgraduate certificate in medical education and today we have a study day that's based on art-based approaches to learning anatomy. I'm feeling very jammy because I've actually got up early, done some yoga, I've done a workout. However, it's only nearly half past nine and I already feel like it's 11 -sies. So that is a drawback, but alas, this is the current view from the gym at the moment. It is snowing a lot. I did some prep for this last week. I was writing arguments for and against prosection and dissection and also we're using face paints in this study day. So I needed to check that I wasn't allergic to said face paints. At the beginning of the day, we had a welcome from the lady who was leading the session for us. And we also spoke through some of the assessment details. For some reason, I look incredibly confused by what is being spoken to me and taking a long time to take it in. I finally seemed to get the hang of what was happening and wrote something down on my iPad. Hello. Morning. Hello. Morning. No. Awkward hellos over, we then moved on to a small group discussion where we started debating the pros and cons of dissection versus prosection. My name's Megan, I'm a first year PBL tutor at HIMS um, and also an ex HIMS student. Um, I can't remember doing any dissection at medical school. Um, we did um, pro sections and I think you could do SSCs in dissection, uh, but I did things like hill walking and yoga, so I have no experience of dissection. So now that I've admitted that I'm going to be of absolutely no help to the group, we then uh, prepped what we were going to be debating. So pro section on small specimens versus dissection on whole bodies. Prepping my last little bits for the debate before it was my go to talk. On to team pro section. Uh, yes, sorry, there's going to be a little bit of overlap with what Francesca said, um, but we've um, talked about two main areas. This is me debating in favour of pro section, that it uses less resources, less time, and students are still able to learn anatomy from it. All right. So we've heard the main arguments for all of our three modalities, we've some counters. As you can see, I'm very glad my talking bit is over. I've never taken part in a debate before. Unfortunately, our team didn't win, but it was very enjoyable experience nonetheless. Next we learnt about body painting. I look like I'm concentrating a lot here on what's being said to me and nodding lots as we're going along. Body painting is used in medical curriculum to help students learn about anatomy. Here I'm painting the anatomy onto my hand, so I've already done the nerve outlines and now I'm doing the distribution of the median, the radial and the ulnar nerves. This is my finished hand. Before the session, we were set some set questions to talk through in our little discussion groups and were asked to discuss between ourselves whilst we were doing the hand painting. However, this is what I was asking. What do you do in Abu Dhabi? What's, what's the weather like there? Because like we're snowed in here. How long have you been in Abu Dhabi for? Whereabouts in Newcastle are you from? Where are you working in Hull, Karen? Are you a Hully or a Yorkie? Apparently the value of your house goes up if you're near an Aldi or a Lidl because people want to live near them. 
How far through your cardiology training are you? Okay, so do we want to talk about like a couple of the um, points that the cat has asked us to cover? So I think oh yeah, sorry. I presume that's what you meant when you said talk between yourselves, not question people on New Zealand and Abu Dhabi. Oh no, no, that's fine. Like you guys can do that. Like that's fine. The next task involved using Play-Doh to make clay models with. However, I fell at the first hurdle and struggled to get my Play-Doh out of the tub. Here we're using clay models to make the basal ganglia. So the pink one is the globus pallidus and this is the thalamus. So I'm rolling out the chordate nucleus into a sausage shape and squashing the internal capsule into a triangle shape. So here I'm putting the globus pallidus inside the internal capsule and squashing it together a bit at the bottom. I'm then attaching the chordate nucleus round the top of the internal capsule, like that. It looks a bit like a peanut pod. And then attaching the thalamus on the side of it to make the basal ganglia. We're then cutting into it to see what the 2D representation would be of the 3D model we've made. Hello and welcome to a part of the vlog that absolutely no one asked for, cooking with Megan. I only had 11 seeds like an hour and a half ago, so I'm making a fried rice dish. I already had the rice cooking in my rice cooker. Some chicken style pieces and peas that I cooked in the microwave. I've got a couple of eggs whisk whisked up. A peanut, oh I can't really tip it because it's gonna spill. A uh, peanut sauce, so the plan is just to like, Cook it. Mm -hmm. So it's finished. This is what we have. It does look yummy. However, because I've spent lunchtime essentially faffing and doing things like cleaning my bathroom, I actually only have five minutes to eat this and I don't like eating food that's hot. So I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm going to multitask in one of the lectures and just sort of like have a nibble as we're going along and learning. We then regrouped after lunch and when we were making sure that everyone was ready, someone mentioned they had a dog. Oh, are we doing dogs? Let me get a photo. This is Henley. <coughs> He's a sprocker and he's my little brother. Next, we were learning how to make anatomical models out of pipe cleaners. So I'm avidly taking notes and prepare yourself for me being very pleased with myself for knowing some basic anatomy. Can anyone tell me what they think that is? Is it all the branches off the aorta going down? Yeah, it's the abdominal aorta. Then we got to have a go ourselves. So this is me attempting to make the circle of Willis, which is the blood supply in the brain. I will insert a picture of it here to see what it is that I'm aiming for. This is my version. After the pipe cleaners, we then learnt about technology enhanced learning. As the name suggests, this is the use of technology in learning and it's particularly crucial at the moment because of the need of it due to the pandemic. So this is me taking notes on my iPad whilst Lauren gave us the lecture on it. The final part of the day was ironically called the wrap up when I wrapped myself up in a blanket because the temperatures were dipping somewhat. I was just taking notes on the general summary points of the day. I'm now at the end of the study day. The blanket has come into play. It's cold, it's snowing on and off. I really enjoyed the study day. There's loads of practical things to do in it and I've got some good ideas for my assessment as well. Now I'm going to potentially look over a couple of lectures, do some stuff towards my assignment, but also my mum's text me and said I can go around to her house for tea. Thank you for joining me on this day. I hope it's given you some information about what happens with online study days or what happens as part of the anatomy... <coughs> anatomy... Peg... Oh, I've literally done it all day and I still don't know how to say it. Pe pedagogy part of the postgraduate certificate of medical education and any techniques that can be introduced into your own anatomy learning. <laughs>